Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. I am Lorianne, your intuitive guidance counselor, psychic medium here to give you the messages for this week for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Pisces and the Venus sign, if that's uh, in Pisces as well. So we're going to take a look at love. This is a general reading. Whatever comes through this reading is meant for you in one way or another, if it sounds like your story. <clears throat> Don't try to fit your life around the reading. For you guys, you know, Pisces, and I have a Pisces moon. I was, personally, I was so deeply affected by this particular full moon. And you can still hear it. I'm, I'm feeling a lot better. I'm looking better. My throat, you know, everything is starting to come back to me again. I'm allergic to Colorado. <laughs> But this moon was incredible. It was so powerful. I mean, I, I it was knocking me on the ground, making me really dizzy, making me feel very ill. But equally, it was triggering me to love. And, you know, I did a reading a while back ago. I don't remember what zodiac sign, but it was like love on the brain. And it's not the first time I've said that message. That message is coming through. And it may be for Pisces, I'm not sure, but... Uh, you know, over, you know, the other messages is definitely got that love on the brain vibration going on right now where you might be wanting this really romantic time, really embracing the holiday itself of Valentine's Day. Love, love, love. I love love, right? And you guys know I do. I really do. It's just sometimes it wears me out <laughs> when it's not my will. Uh, yeah. So, we're going to look at uh, the message that came out for you regarding love. And this is a high vibrational, happy to be in love. Now, the card that came out for you is interesting is freedom. Okay. Freedom is a wonderful place to be in. That's the place we really want to be in, whether we're in an actual romantic relationship or not. We want to feel free to be our own self. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. You're free to create this beautiful, positive feeling that I have coming in. And I think some of you are actually manifesting it. You're working on it. You want this relationship. Now, for those of you where you're in a couple, you may be wanting a different level of relationship a couplehood, a coupleship, you may be wanting a different level within your relationship, but for a lot of you, Pisces, what I'm feeling, if you're in a couple, there's, uh, I'm hearing the word discord, disharmony between the two of you, where you want to fix it. You want to get it back up and going again. You, you, you love your partner. You want your partner back on track. So we're going to take a look at your side of the story, whether you're a couple, a single, wanting somebody to come back in your life or otherwise it will come through in the reading. And if any career comes in, I will, whatever comes through, I will relate it to you. So we have you coming in, Pisces, as the Nine of Pentacles. This is a beautiful energy to be in. That's what I'm saying. This high vibration, you're ready. Look, this is Cinderella, okay? And this is like you ready. I've got my nest. It's all perfect. My finances are ready. My refrigerator's full. I am happy. That's what this card is. You're like flying high. You're talking to the animals going, come on, bring it in. I want love. I want love. <clears throat> and, and you are literally trying to manifest it. So that's why I'm saying this is a beautiful energy, Pisces. Then we have the Six of Pentacles. This is about reciprocity. This is about all that you went through to get to this beautiful feeling that you're in right now. Some of you may have to have rebuilt your entire life, which if you're a twin flame, check out the, I believe that was in my uh, twin flame reading. 
I did the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine a 2020 update, and I will continue to do those for you guys here forward. Um, I just needed that break in order to make changes in my personal life and personal business. So with this, this is probably exactly what you were doing, what I just said. I'm a Pisces, so maybe that's me. But this is about somebody becoming very independent, very strong, and feeling really happy about the knowing I am free. I'm free. I'm independent. I'm free to be me. I am free to build the life that I want where I know I'm going to get back what I put into it. And I think you really worked hard to get there. Yay. So if you're in a couple, the six of pentacles is about equal. This is about give and take. This is about balance. So when I was referring to the couple, you and your partner trying to get things back into balance, but you know, I feel this, um, they may have been very controlling or there may have been something confining the two of you. This could have been a work issue, maybe work, workaholic, working too much, but we're going to take a look at that. Now, if you're single, we're absolutely looking at somebody coming in. You want this balanced relationship. And if you are wanting somebody from the past returning, that could very well be happening with the Six of Pentacles. What you put out, you get back. But for most of you, I really feel this is somebody new. I'm not to say, you know, uh, Mercury's going into retrograde this week. And happy Valentine's Day, Pisces, by the way. That's on the 14th. That's this Friday. I'm recording this on the 10th. And <clears throat> well, we're going to go forward and see. But most of you, this is really the energy of somebody brand new. I feel that, you, like I said, you really went through a lot to get into this place of personal power, a personal freedom where you feel free to, free to be me, right? Free to express yourself, free to be who you really are. Mm -hmm. Some of you, this is a person coming back in. I will tell you this. We have the death card. You went through all of this. You, as a single Pisces, you went through everything. You worked on you and you're feeling good. It takes a lot of work to get here. And when we get here, we get this beautiful reward. Now, for some of you, this could be going out and saying, okay, I ended my own uh, personal love life. Now I'm going to go out and start anew. For every ending is a new beginning. And here's the new beginning right here. You've completely transformed your life to where you are ready for this big emotional love. This is the great love that we really want, where the two of cups is going to fly out, hopefully, right? But this is a beautiful love. This is about being open and vulnerable and expressive. Now, for those of you where you are talking or thinking, and I see their name is popping up all over, so you might be thinking of them because you're seeing synchronicities about them. They're coming in. They're coming in to actually come forward. And I feel and finally, finally tell you what they didn't tell you way back when. And I know that's a very common phrase because when you're looking at a runner and most of us who've been the chaser, the one who initiates the or trying to get the end relationship up and going, It's really easy to look at the runner and pass a lot of judgment. There's a lot of fear, a lot of apprehension when we ourselves are trying to rebuild our lives. So you went through massive struggles and they equally go through their own. So there is no, this is about a great love. This is about you and your partner actually being able to put things in a whole different direction, like I said in the beginning of the reading. And those of you who are single, this is, this is like, wow, this is love. I think it's like, stop. And your heart just goes bink, 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 like in the cartoons, you know, <laughs> where their little eyes bug out. Woo, woo. Yeah, look, this is destiny. This is your person. 
This is about hope. This is about faith. And this is about healing. You went through a lot to get there. And this is your destiny. You are getting ready to meet somebody that you were meant to be with. Whether it is somebody coming in brand spanking new, somebody from the past. And for those of you where you're in a relationship, this relationship, you know whether it is part of your destiny. You know if this is your person. For some of you, you might be in the social spotlight is what it's saying. And maybe the relationship was out of balance. But for a lot of you, I feel you may have just recently left this and you're coming into this place of feeling really amazing, right? Looking good, feeling good. Pisces, you got it going on. And again, the star card is about great hope. It's about great healing and faith. And we are looking at a beautiful love, somebody coming in who is going to sweep you off your feet and really transform you into who you're meant to be, who you are destined to be with. This person, it's not like they're going to do it to you. You're going to be free. I can be me, I can be authentic, I don't have to wear a mask, and this person likes me just the way I am. And that's just gonna make you sore. You see what I mean? There, ten of, 10 of cups right there. So let me pull one more card for them. Absolutely, here's the two of cups, like I said. Two of cups. You're getting ready to meet a partner that you're destined to be with. And if this is you and your current partner, you are gonna heal it. You absolutely are. And for those, oh, and if you like me, please subscribe. <laughs> I always forget. And click the bell. You'll be notified whenever I uh, do a posting. But this is, this person is part of your path. Now, whether you come together and actually be in a romantic relationship for the person returning, this is all about restoring balance, restoring karmic balance, just restoring balance and ebb and flow in you. So when you're speaking to this person and they come back and they're coming back in to say, oh my God, they're so in love with you. This is, that's what I said, love on the brain. Look at that. You guys are all about love, 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 love. Very beautiful. Very, very, I, I like it. Absolutely. So uh, let me pull you a romance angel card. Now career, I feel that some of you, you may have been working really hard on your career and you're waiting, waiting for the Ten of Pentacles because you're in the Nine of Pentacles, meaning you put a lot into it. You could be a business owner, a teacher, but whatever you've done, your education skill, all your resources is what I'm hearing. You put into this, into you. You invested in you. You took a chance on you. Bravo. For me to take a chance on me, a risk on me, gamble on me, that's the biggest risk I could ever take, right? I'm going to invest in me. So that's an amazing thing. I love it. So let's take a look at what this is for you wedding. You see, whether you're a couple, whether this is somebody that you already know that helped you, helped you rise up to the nine of pentacles, or this is somebody brand new. This is an absolutely great love. A big, huge, great love is coming in for you with an amazing, incredibly beautiful partnership. These, these couldn't be more ideal cards for Valentine's Day. So Pisces, have an amazing week. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, much love.